The Sailor Bob Show. Well, ahoy, boys and girls, and welcome now to our TV schooner. Nice to have you with us again, and we're all set for another fine time here on the schooner. And I hope that you'll stay right there in front of your TV and be with us. Come on inside right now and join me here. I remember being enchanted, mesmerized by Sailor Bob. Um, I don't know if it was weekday mornings or just weekend mornings, but we just sit there just enchanted. And joining us on the Popeye cartoon show, your old favorites, Gulliver Go, Mr. Mouse, and the ever-popular Bluebird of Happiness, too. Uh, he was just a magician. I marveled at uh, how he could just bring these wonderful characters to life. I enjoyed being over there, see, seeing all the boys and girls and their moms and their dads and everybody. Yeah. Except I didn't enjoy seeing one guy. Who was that? The guy with a big nose over there. Who was that? The radio announcer. Oh, you, the radio, Mr. Bill Woody. Yeah. Well, he doesn't have uh, I don't like that nose. guy. You don't like him? No. Why? Wait, because he's, cause he's got a bigger nose than I have. Well, you, yours is called a beak. Huh? Yours is called a beak. A what? A beak. What? A beak. Say it twice. Beak, beak. Come on by. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm... Oh, I see. That big smile, those warm eyes. He was so engaging. Good night. Remember, Good night. the early bird catches the worm. Yeah, but how about that worm who got up so early? <laughs> oh, me, oh, my, the bluebird. Silly, silly thing. It was a personal relationship between this, what they featured as a fantastic celebrity on television. And we know Sailor Bob, or we know Dandy Doodle. So it was a one-on-one -on -one relationship between the children and these characters. That's what made it fun. 